I want to go on an overlanding trip, but how do I sleep at night? So in this series, we're going to walk through the good, the bad, the high end and the low end of overland tent setups. But this guide isn't just for overlanding, whether you're into fly fishing, biking, climbing, kayaking, working in remote locations, we want you to come away with a sleeping setup that works for you and that you love. You gotta have a rooftop tent if you're a real overlander, right? Well, not necessarily. It all depends on the type of trips that you take, and for some, a ground tent is gonna get the job done. We'll talk about campers and ground tents in a future video, but first, the real reason you clicked on this video is rooftop tents, so let's just jump into it. Here at Blue Ridge Overland Gear, we like to break rooftop tents down into two main categories, hard cover and soft cover. So soft cover are the most common. They clamshell open, they have a fabric roof, they typically have a truck bed tarp cover for when they're stowed away. Some of the brands you'll find out there are Tapui, CVT, even Yakima and Thule are getting in on it. Here are some of the pros of a soft cover rooftop tent. They're typically cheaper. They also offer annex rooms that are a nice add-on to create some space out of the elements. And then they have a larger capacity. So if you need to sleep three or more people, this is gonna be the type of tent for you. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows with soft covers. So here's some of the downsides. Setting them up can involve climbing, uh, wrestling with zippers, and typically involves climbing up all the way on top of the tent to get that cover on there. They are less protected against hanging branches, so if you're going down a trail in the deep woods and you run into a branch overhead, there's a good chance you might damage it. A few cool features that we think are worth looking for when you're shopping for a soft cover are shoe bags. These hang right by the doors of the tent. When you climb up the top of the ladder, stick your shoes in there, and then they're safe and dry when you come out the next morning. All right, hard cover tents. These are a little bit more premium. These are probably the second most common type of tent that you're gonna see out there in the wild. Now what they lack in floor space, they make up for in speed. These are a lot quicker to deploy. There's nothing like pulling into camp, just flipping a couple latches, boom, the tent pops up and you're ready to get in there in just like two minutes. Now most of them have a fiberglass shell, uh, which is fairly lightweight. Others like Alucab and Roofnest have options with a metal shell that can really take a beating when you're crashing down a trail in the deep woods. There's even a brand called Bunditech that's fully electric and it deploys automatically. You just hold down one button and then the whole tent just goes and deploys itself. Pretty cool. All right, so here's some of the pros of running a hard cover. They are dramatically easier and faster to set up and take down, especially in the rain. They often have a bit of a thicker mattress, and some brands offer those metal shells for protection. And then typically, they are more aerodynamic than the big square brick on top of a soft cover. But again, not everything is ups, and here are some of the downs. Typically, they are more expensive. They're only gonna sleep at max maybe two people. And then hard covers will collect condensation on the inside of that hard cover. This is not from leaks, this is literally it just coming out of the air and collecting on the cold metal or the cold shell there and then it can drip down inside. So that's just one of those things you need to consider when you're getting a hardcover tent and what kind of climate you're in, but some brands have made solutions that help deal with that. Now kind of the newest style of hard shell that you'll see from brands like iCamper and Roofnest is the fold out rooftop tent. It's got that hard cover, but then it also has part that flips out like a soft cover and gives you kind of a hybrid some of both worlds. They're not quite as fast as a typical hard cover to deploy, but they give you a little bit more of that floor space like a soft cover. Now here's some considerations when you're shopping for a hard cover. Some tents like James Baroud brand, for example, have a vent on top where while you're driving down the road, when the, the tent is fully closed, it'll actually keep blowing air through and actually dry that tent out while you're going down the road and then you don't have as much concern about it being put away wet. The next consideration would be weight. These things are not light. If you're looking at fiberglass versus a metal hardcover, you know, is this gonna fit inside your vehicle's gross weight rating? And the last fun little tip with uh, hardcover tents is often you can just leave your sleeping bag and your pillow up there, close it in there, and then when you get to camp, boom, it's ready to go. All right, so we've talked about some of the differences between hard covers, soft covers, hybrids. Now we're gonna talk about some of the things you wanna consider when you're choosing a brand, choosing a tent, and really how to make an informed decision. But first, we wanna talk about our video sponsor, and that's 
The tool pouch roll from Blue Ridge Overland Gear is designed and built to last forever. And if it doesn't, we've got you covered with our lifetime warranty. It compresses a ton of tools into a compact package so it'll fit under your seat, in drawers, and other small spaces. The removable Velcro pouches allow you to grab just the tools you need to get the job done. Now, rooftop tents are only made in a few places around the world, so oftentimes you'll see the same tent, but with different badges on it. So how do you choose between them? First and foremost, we recommend shopping for customer service over just features. Now this may seem counterintuitive, but having a tent get damaged in shipping or needing fixes is actually more common than you would think. And this is a good place to avoid no name and generic brands because they may not have any customer service at all. Take a little bit of time, do some research, look at the warranty, the replacement policy, the return windows, because this is your lifeline to a happy shopping experience and a little research goes a long way to protecting your purchase. Now the second consideration here is how are you actually gonna get the tent to your rig? Now these tents are large, they weigh several hundred pounds, so shipping is always gonna be by freight. So if you find a brand that is willing to ship directly to you, just be ready to receive a pallet. If you have an Overland Outfitter in your area, we highly recommend buying through them. They'll handle receiving the freight and shipping it back if it's damaged. Plus, they just might already have one in stock and most of the time, they'll help install it for you. The next thing to consider is the quality. Many tents look the same, as we mentioned, but they're not all made the same. And this is one thing where you do get what you pay for. And it's hard to tell when you're online shopping because everything looks the same in the photos, but a good example would be CVT tents. They may cost a little bit more than all the other tents that look the same, but their fabric and zippers are all heavy duty and high grade. When you touch it in person, you can immediately tell the difference. We recommend buying a tent for the amount that you'll use it. If you don't plan to go out very often, then a cheaper tent is gonna get the job done. But if you plan on going overlanding multiple times a month for years to come, a little more investment up front might save you down the line. So third thing to consider is the mattress or the lack thereof. So we recommend do not make a choice on a tent on how good you think the mattress will be because nine times out of 10, they're gonna leave you a little wanting. No brand we've ever tried has a mattress anywhere near as good as your bed at home. If there was, it probably would be so thick it wouldn't shut. So if you find you need a little more padding on your mattress, we recommend augmenting it with inflatable mattresses on top or a little bit of extra foam. So some of the brands we recommend for those are Xped and Big Agnes, and there's plenty of other good options out there. So that wraps up our first installments in our little Tents for Overlanding series. Hope you enjoyed this dive into rooftop tents. We do wanna cover some more stuff like ground tents, campers, trailers, that kind of stuff. So look out for those videos in the future. If we missed anything, let us know in the comments down below. I'm CT with Blue Ridge Overland Gear. We'll see you next time.